Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 25th September 2023, the Indian Air Force has inducted its first of the 56 C295 aircrafts into the number 11 squadron the Rhinos which is based in Vadodara. The Ministry of Defense will also order additional 15 C295 aircrafts but for maritime reconnaissance rule. Nine of these aircrafts would be used by Indian Navy to keep an eye on Chinese activities in the Indian Ocean region. Six of these planes will be deployed by Indian Coast Guards to check on suspicious activities from Pakistan side and thwart any possible 26 by 11 type terror attacks. The Coast Guard is also looking to acquire nine more LH Dhruv helicopters. On 24th November 2023, ANI has reported that the proposal for the acquisition of 15 maritime reconnaissance aircrafts are at advanced stage in Defence Ministry. During Aero India 2023, DIDO has showcased 1 to 14 scaled model of maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The platform chosen for this maritime reconnaissance aircraft is Airbus C295. There are two versions of this aircraft being developed. The first one is called MRMR, that is Medium Range Maritime Reconnaissance, and second one is Triple MA, that is Multi Mode Maritime Aircraft. These aircrafts will be used for both air to sea surface and air to air surveillance. The MRMR will be used by Indian Navy for maritime surveillance, anti submarine warfare, maritime domain awareness electronic intelligence and communication intelligence missions. The aircraft will have endurance of 4.5 hours and 400 nautical miles. The Triple MA will be used by Indian Coast Guard primarily for maritime surveillance and interdiction, pollution surveillance, search and rescue. Its secondary role will include special operations, para drop operations, search and rescue, communication and casualty evacuation, personal transportation and air ambulance. This aircraft will have endurance of 3 hours and 600 nautical mile. Both aircrafts will have flight altitude of nearly 30,000 feet. These maritime reconnaissance aircrafts will feature a variety of state-of-art sensors developed by DIDO to support its multiple missions. The aircraft will be fitted with AESA-based maritime patrol radar and IFF system. It will feature an indigenously developed EOIR sensor which can be seen below the nose cone of the aircraft model. The EOIR sensor has been quite a significant development by DIDO. These sensors are at present integrated with various platforms such as Namika, Rudra, LCH, Prachand, etc. The EOIR sensor used in these platforms are Compass by Elbit system from Israel which will be replaced by DRDO's developed EOIR sensors in future platforms. These sensors help in imaging of targets of interest. It consists of HD day camera, thermal imager, short wave infrared imager, laser range finder and laser pointer. The sensor can operate simultaneously depending on daylight weather condition and display HDMI images to the operator. It has features of geo-pointing, geo-referencing and video tracking also. The other sensors include Pollution Surveillance Suite PSS, Communication Support Measure CSM, Automatic Identification System AIS, Data Links for both Line of Sight and Beyond Line of Sight Communication and Mission Communication System. All these sensors will be commanded and controlled by distributed MMS and present the maritime domain awareness picture to the operator on multifunctional tactical console MTC. It shall also provide the same to ground data terminals through communication limb. The MRMR and Triple MR will use artificial intelligence and multi sensor data fusion technology for enhanced situational awareness. The next very important system in this aircraft are going to be Data Link and Mission Communication System MCS. The data from the Maritime Patrol Radar IFF, Automatic Identification System and various other sensors will also be downlinked to the ground stations and tactical control data uplinked 
to the triple m a system the communication between triple m a system and ground exploitation stations is through c band line of sight link and ku band satcom link the mission communication system mcs provide air to air and air to ground v slash uhf voice communication it also provides integrated control for all on board communication sets and intercom for all mission operators and flight crew the triple ms system will have three reconfigurable triple display multifunctional tactical console mtc capable of operating in any designated modes the mtc will display the recognizable maritime picture rmp of the overall scenario perceived by various sensors to the mission operator the same rmp is also communicated to the ground station via data link the mtc also receives health information from all systems periodically and display the health status to the operator the c295 based maritime reconnaissance aircraft is also well suited to conduct anti submarine warfare and anti surface warfare missions the aircraft has underwing hard points for carrying weapon system as well as reconnaissance jamming ports and search lights the c295 has up to 6 underwing hard points for weapon system the hard points can hold torpedoes anti surface missiles mines and depth charges in anti submarine warfare role the c295 can also be equipped with mk46 lightweight torpedoes in anti ship role the aircraft can be integrated with two marte mk2 s anti ship inert missiles installed under the wing the c295 aircraft will also be equipped with self protection equipment including cockpit armor a radar warning receiver a missile approach warning system and a laser warning receiver the aircraft can also fire chaff and flares to deceive the incoming missiles this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector